Here's how you can work with number strips with your students. So you can draw a number strip here and initially don't put numbers inside it right away. Ask them to count and many a times when you're counting, you forget, you know, how many uh, boxes you've counted. So then you say, let's put the numbers inside it so that we remember how many boxes we have counted. They can use this number strip for adding numbers or subtracting numbers like the way we teach number line in grade one. A number strip I feel should be used. Then this number strip, which has a length of 10, can be increased to a size of 20. Now give this number strip up till 20 to work with numbers which add to 20 or subtraction between uh, these numbers. They really help the child to visualize how the numbers are moving forward and backward. You can keep adding rows to this. This is how a 100 chart is formed. I as a teacher love 100 chart because there are so many activities that a child can do before they jump into two digit addition, subtraction or multiplication. There's so many things to do in a 100 chart. So 100 chart is a number strip but arranged in groups of 10.